welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be playing some more immortals of avium it's just released its update free which has fixed a lot of issues with dlss uh, the last update made things quite blurry and uh, there was also some issues with frame generation earlier um in previous versions of the game so hopefully those have been resolved i'm just going to quickly go through the in-game settings so playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 using DLSS quality, so base image is 2560 by 1440 recompiled or reconstructed up to 4K, and then frame generations enabled. Of course, this is with AI frames inserted in between uh, frames, so it kind of boosts performance. Uh, it makes the game smoother. It doesn't necessarily improve latency, um, but that's something that um, doesn't affect the way the game feels too bad, from my experience at least. Uh, field of view is at 90. And uh, I like the way they've got a budgeting system with the settings. So with the i9 3900K, you get 315. And with the RTX 1490, you get 1428. As long as your settings you choose are within these budgets, the game devs are basically saying your, your hardware should be able to handle these settings. Of course, everything is well within budget. So um, I should have a good experience. This is an Unreal Engine 5 game, of course. And we all know with Unreal Engine 5, usually comes with quite a lot of traversal stutter, stuttering in general. Um, but they do bake their shaders on this game, whether or not it will cure all the stuttering is another story. Captain Soko. Jack, the big day finally arrives, huh? Yes, sir. That news traveled fast. Kirken might have led on that she thought you were ready for selection after this campaign was over. Her intuition is rarely... It seems that Kirken lets you in on her plans all the time, Captain. More than she does the generals. We do have our history. Yeah, I only trained under her for five years. <clears throat> the crippling uncertainty made you fight harder. <laughs> Maybe. So how's the road, sir? Too dangerous for my liking this close to the palafon. You should visit the forge and get your gear sorted before setting out. Good idea. I'll be back. Okay, still in the early stages of the game, so there will be some tutorial pop-ups. So just bear with me. I'm just gonna quickly upgrade some of my gear. So, legendary purified Arculite Sigil. Legendary Relics of Avium. Are these things I have now, or are these things I can eventually craft? I'm not too sure. So each weapon um, can be upgraded, but then you might lose something. For example, I'll increase a lot of power, but I'll lose a lot of firing rate. So I think I'll go in for the middle of the road here. So it won't be too slow. Let's have a look at my red sigil. Um, it's a lot weaker. Well, it's a little bit more powerful than what I've got. And the firing rate goes down. So I don't think that's actually an upgrade. Uh, this one's considerably more powerful. But the firing rate is considerably lower. So for me, that's not a good upgrade either. Let's see. In terms of bracelets. This has 55 armor and 25 melee damage. I don't really use melee. So it's not really going to help me. And... What does this do? I haven't got the resources anyway. So there's a lot to customize on this game. So I think it's more than just activating or unlocking skills. Your gear has a massive part in terms of your progression. Let me just speak to the general again. Open the gate. You'll need to be cautious, Jack. We've got incursions large and small around the clock here in Lordsville. The wound drifts have collapsed near the Oroman border, giving Rashan's airships a beachhead they've never had before. It feels like it's growing faster, huh? When I was a kid, the wound was just this abstract void my friends and I lived over. I never really knew how much of the world it had swallowed up. Ask me. It's a true enemy of the Everwolf. In their endless fight for magic, the Magni ignore the Great Wound's relentless advance. 
Don't tell Kirken I said that. When you're right, you're right. See you later, Captain. So, generally, I feel the game does look visually impressive in terms of like the close ups when it comes to the faces. Um, in terms of like just general graphics, it's kind of. Let's just say I expected a little bit more from Unreal Engine 5. Maybe the, some of the later games will will look a bit more impressive, but generally it's okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the patch. It has introduced um, some fixes to address issues with dynamic shader branching, which is pre performance on consoles and PC, various memory optimizations on console and PC, and also minor visual improvements and fixes throughout the game so they don't necessarily go into any detail on what visual improvements were made but the game seems to be in a much better state than when it was first launched see i'm using under 10 gigabytes of vram as well so it's not a memory hog and uh, the cpu utilization seems to be a bit up and down when you're amongst npcs there seems to be a much higher load Take these dudes out. <coughs> so the fire rate for this weapon's gone down considerably now, but it's at least it's a li little bit more powerful. Right, these guys won't really any challenge. But yeah, the DLSS sharpening is much better now. It was so blurry in the last patch, it kind of just made it look like you were playing below 1440p almost at some points it was pretty bad but looks nice and sharp again so please stay with address that which is good to see alright one was behind me for a moment Try to get some high grounds. There you are. So you were behind me. These guys keep teleporting, so it makes it harder. And that's all of them. Still one more. Yeah. There's actually a fair few of them here. out of health crystals already. Wow, there's a lot of these guys here. I think they're all finally being cleaned out. Wasn't expecting such a, a stone resistance so early on in the game. But it feels super smooth. Um, of course, when you enable DLSS free frame generation, it automatically enables NVIDIA Reflex to kind of help reduce input lag. And it seems to be very effective from what I can see. Okay, so these are like little bonus stages where you can kind of get extra power. So I may as well try and do this. Okay, these are one of these bonus stages that you can you can earn extra HP and things like that if you complete the, the quests. So this is another way of doing up your stats. Let's take out all the opposition.
Not so tough, are you? Some more to take down. Don't get close. Let's get rid of that shield. This one's tough. Okay. Let's heal up a little bit. Him. Now we just got these ones to deal with. I think these ones only weak to the green magic. Some enemies only respond to different types of magic. Oh man, that took a lot of health. All right, better to keep my distance against these guys. Right, that's one down. Keep my shield up. Yeah, I, think, I think that's all of them. I hope that's all of them. One more. Please. Okay, job done. Grab all my spoils. I think that's everything. Okay, where's my prize? Surely I got more than that for doing all of that. Have a look around. Ah, oh, here it is. Thinking, I know I definitely get more than that for all my efforts. The Radiant Hellstone maximum health is increased. So that's basically what my award was for doing all of that. But they're optional quests, you don't have to do it, but if you want to max out your character, it's definitely something you should do. Okay. How do I get out of here? <clears throat> Maybe you're meant to interact with the window. It's, you can walk through it, but then you got to interact with it as well. Back to the real world. Performance has been pretty smooth, apart from a few initial frame spikes. Even in combat, when there's loads of enemies, it's still pretty much over 120 FPS. There's quite a massive frame spike as I start mentioning performance there. So, look, I'm not sure if it's shader caching or something like that. Maybe the second time round, after these scenes have cached, they'll play better, but. The initial experience isn't the best. Yeah, I got another guy to deal with. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I survived. Okay, it's one of these places where you have to kind of manipulate the magic to, to proceed. We can only do it from a certain point, which is from here.
I haven't seen any UI flickering, so I think at least they've improved that. Along with the stuttering. Jack, how are you braving the roads? I'm not gonna say it's great out here, sir. Any word from the Palathon on my uh, appointment? Is that nerves I hear? Nervous about what, sir? Trying to join the most elite Magni order in the world? Even failure is a chance to learn, you know? Not helpful. Yeah, quite a bit of stuttering. I really need to do a little bit better than this. Unfortunately, it's it's something that we thought potentially may disappear with the introduction of UE5. Clearly, that's not the case. But nice to see at least DLSS um, is working as it should have in the first place. So they've at least fixed that. close to the Palathon. Should look for an entrance to a skiff bay along that wall. As you can see, uh, CPU utilization goes up quite a bit while amongst other NPCs. They're all just basically scenery. Can't really interact with them for what I can see. Extremely, extremely demanding game though. Whether or not it warrants to be anyone's guess. Okay, looks like there's some kind of puzzle or something I need to do here. Let me speak to this lady. You're an immortal. Orfe the seer. Kirkens told me about you. And you're Kirkens foundling. The candle of Shaled. Answering our question about the atrocities of Rashan. I'm um, say what now? Forgive us. We lost our train of time. You will be answering our question shortly, and then you arrive at the Palathon. Your train of time. Got it. Weird. We're still waiting. What? Oh, uh, the three atrocities of Rashan are the burning of the House Calaman Magni, the poisoning of the Wraithwind, and the enslavement of the Kalalish Guildmasters. Acceptable. And your Kirkens foundling, the Candle of Shaled, answering our question about the atrocities of Rashan. Okay, I think the train left the station again. Can I go? Of course. Good luck. <laughs> I've pretty much understood it. None of that. So it looks like well, it looks like some kind of puzzle outside. I'm not too sure what that, what you have to do there, but it's not essential right now. Chapter 5. Guess this is the home of the immortals. It's a list of the dead. There's so many, no one can remember all their names. I never knew there were that many immortals. Oh no, it's everyone across Avium that fell in the Everwall. The Palathon tracks it somehow, all the way back. You know, we're still not really sure who built this place. A bit morbid, really. Having a massive death list right when you walk in, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. I'm Devin, by the way. Just got back from the front. Jack, stationed at Yilthium Fields the last few weeks. I'm from Serum, originally. Is that right? I've never met anyone from East Lucium. And you still haven't. Said I was from Seren. Ah, oh, nice. A little provincial machismo. Let me show you around, Jack. Promise it's not all a big down. I, uh, really need to get to selection. Absolutely no idea where to go. Come this way. I'll show you. I remember Kirken talking about a Jack from Seren a few times. Said you'd make a great immortal one day. Huh. She 
said that? No. I'm just trying to calm your nerves, man. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been an immortal? Oh, ages. Well, a few years. But immortal years are like dog years. They stretch on and on. So you're the best of the best? You sound doubtful. It's a cheery disposition. But the Rashanians have sent writs of assassination to every quarter asking for my head. They hate me over there. I'll get some of those writs myself just as soon as I look up what writs are. I'm sure you will, especially as a triarch. We don't get many of those. Well, any of them, actually. So what's the secret? How do you do it? Don't know. I just do. I see. You just do. No need for hard work and discipline when you can just do. Good lesson for the kids. Is this part of selection? You busting my balls? <laughs> no. Selection is much worse. We're almost there. This guy loves the sounds of his own voice. Got another one for group five. No. Oh, stop. He'll be your star pupil. Jack here's the soldier that was crucial to the rout at Yilthium Fields. Kirkin's pet initiate? I'm literally standing right here. The path is ready for this group, and I'm not asking her to reconfigure for one more. She'll complain and give everyone in the Palathon nightmares for a week. Get ready. Those doors open, you go in, one at a time. Come on, Zendara. You know the path already senses he's here. Okay, why are you talking about it like it's alive? It's not happening, Devon. On the one hand, nightmares brought about by a cranky magical gestalt conscious state. That's okay, ignore me. It's cool. On the other, a stern lecture from Kirken for playing needlessly hardball. I know which one I'd pick. You weren't here for my speech to the selection candidates, initiate. So I'll give you the short version. So it is happening? Shut up. Welcome to the path. Stepping through that door means you think your magic is strong enough to issue a challenge to the Pentasod. That you fear no judgment or censure for doing so, and that your life word to the ley lines is forfeit if you're found wanting. The really short version? Don't fuck up in there or you're... Like, for real? More like absorbed into the path than removed from existence? But don't sweat it. I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. That's why her face looks like that. But don't let it shake you. And anyways, optimism is a moral imperative. I'm Zandara, of House Cadus, Warden of the Path and oath sworn to the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. It was nice knowing you, Jack. Hero of Yilthium Fields. A smarter man than you would have ended this day on a high note. Isn't she great? Anyway guys, I think I'll leave it there. I just wanted to show off the third update of Immortals of Avium. They seem to have corrected a lot to do with DLSS at least. So as a step forward, um, could do with a bit of, um, I don't know, maybe some more shader caching um, or something to reduce the stuttering because it is still very, very prevalent. But apart from that, that is pretty much it for me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always, Thanks for watching.